What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and welcome back to another weekly watch list video. In this series, my goal is to share with you how I feel about the market conditions as well as what stocks are at the top of my watch list going into the week ahead. Here is everything you need to know. Let's go. Okay, so to look at the market conditions, I like to look at the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones. And in the NASDAQ, we have had a beautiful recovery this week. We bounced off of support right around 14,200. We've had a nice recovery back above our 20 and 50 day moving averages. When you look at the S&P 500, it's very much the same story. We are back above our 20 and 50 day moving averages. And when you look at the Dow Jones, we are actually now testing our all-time highs. So on Monday, Tuesday, we could very easily see the Dow Jones set all-time highs. And it's the exact same thing in Bitcoin. As you can see here, when I took this snapshot, Bitcoin was trading at around 62,000. I think it's currently trading around 60,000, 61,000 right now. But we are above 60,000 and we are within basically spinning distance of our all-time highs. We could very easily see a breakout of Bitcoin all-time highs this week. So things are going very well. I have added to my crypto portfolio I have diversified my crypto portfolio and I'm pretty bullish on crypto at the moment. I have 50% of my portfolio in Bitcoin and about one third of the remainder in Ethereum, Cardano and Solana, basically evenly split. I also use Newton for basically holding these three. I keep the Bitcoin on a ledger account, but it doesn't really work well for Cardano and Solana. So I keep that money on Newton. And I like Newton because I can deposit $10,000 in an e-transfer almost instantly. So Newton's actually my favorite platform right now. And I also invested some money into some mining equipment. I'll be making some videos about that coming up, but I just wanted to give you some insight into what I am holding when it comes to crypto. Now, when it comes to COVID, numbers are looking good in the United States, we're definitely going in the downward direction. However, the numbers in the UK are still very high. And so there are certain areas around the world that are not able to kind of bring those case down case numbers down yet. But it's definitely something to keep an eye on depending on the geography that you're investing in. Most of my stuff is in North America. As of right now, the direction is going in the downward direction right now. When it comes to earnings, though, this week, we have a massive week ahead because we have a lot of big companies that are going to be reporting earnings. So starting on Monday, we've got a couple of basically smaller fintech, smaller banks in here. We had a big bank reporting week last week. And then on Tuesday, we've got Netflix, United, CN, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, lots of consumer companies, lots of big companies in here. We also have Tesla coming in after the market on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we have Snapchat. And on Friday, we have American Express, Honeywell, and a bunch of other companies in here. So it's going to be a very busy earnings week. There's a lot coming down the pipeline. There's a lot to be excited about this week. And one of the companies that I'm very excited about is Hut8 Mining because they are a Bitcoin mining company. They have a lot of infrastructure, a lot of Bitcoin equipment, and they are about to set some all-time highs. This stock is looking really, really good. This is the Canadian version of it. And as you can see on Friday, we had some dramatic volume. We had a major breakout of previous resistance and this stock is doing extremely well right now. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about HUD8 Mining, I actually went and toured a facility here in Alberta. That is where they operate and it was really cool to see. So if you wanna see how they mine Bitcoin, definitely check out that video. It is on my channel. The next company I'm very excited about is Gold Mountain. I actually added to my position in Gold Mountain this week because I am expecting them to get a mining permit at least some point in the next basically two weeks to one month. I'm expecting that mining permit to come in. That means that they're gonna be able to start operating on their Elk Gold project, start bringing in some revenue, and that is a major, major catalyst that I think is gonna send the stock higher. So I'm watching out for that one very closely over the next few weeks. I'm also looking at Srax Incorporated. This is a software company that helps public companies understand their shareholders, and they can also use that data to manage their investment portfolio, which I think is just gives them the most unique insights into the investing world. It gives them a whole lot of data points to basically make their own trades and investments on. And I think it gives them a first mover's advantage or kind of an early insight into what a lot of smart people are doing with their money. So I really like the business model here. The stock kind of broke out on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday here. We had, did have a little bit of a pullback on Friday, so I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but if we see nice continuation over the next few days, I am super bullish on this company, so I have no problem buying into it. Next company I wanna point out to you is Mogo Inc. This is a Canadian, basically, fintech company, and they're trading, at, they fell from $15 all the way down to $5. That acted as previous support back here in February. We have now bounced off $5. 
We've broken through our moving averages and we are now testing our trend line that was established back in May. If you look at our indicators, we've got some pretty positive indications. And if we can break through this trend line, break through our 200 day moving average, a little bit more volume, that would kind of be the stars aligning when it, aligning when it comes to technical analysis. And that would just be a great opportunity. So I'm gonna be watching this one very closely on Monday. I am also watching Well Health come Monday, Tuesday, because this company has traded along this $7 level several times, right here in December, January of 2021, right here in June of 2021, and again, right here in October of 2021. It continues to bounce off this $7 level, and the company has even raised institutional money at I believe around eight to eight dollars, eight fifty. So I'm really excited about this opportunity because I think you can buy in at a discount. I think it's a good company. I've talked to the CEO. It's a well-managed company, and if this seven dollar level of support holds, then I think this is a great entry point. Now, if you're interested in seeing when I get into these companies, my actual trades and more of my analysis on basically a daily basis, then you should definitely consider signing up for my Discord chat. That is where I'm building a community of traders and that is where I share all of my analysis, my full weekly watch list and everything that I am putting into the markets I post in that Discord chat. So if you wanna see that, it's $5 per month and I'm trying to build a community of traders that all share their due diligence, all share their research so that you're not sitting at home alone trading by yourself. You can join the community, you can share your research and be part of the community and you can get access to all of my trades and all of my technical analysis. So if you wanna join that, the link is in the description down below to this video. Now, Coinbase, this is the next stock that I'm really looking for right now. As you can see, we've got a bit of a triple top right here at $280. We did have a nice pullback right here and now we are testing this 280 level again. I am watching for the breakout of Coinbase above $280 and I think this is gonna be directly tied to the price of Bitcoin, especially over the weekend here. So if we see Bitcoin rising over the weekend and we see Bitcoin continue to go up on Monday, I think Coinbase is gonna to continue to break out. I think this is gonna be a great opportunity, especially for a short-term swing trade. And long-term, if Bitcoin gets to 100K in a few months, Coinbase is gonna do very well. Now, the last two companies that I wanna talk about here, number one is Mercado Libre. This is a company that I got into and then my stop loss got hit and now I'm looking to get back into it. 1479 was previous support. We just came down and we tested this exact same level. We've had three days of rising prices. We're about to cross through our 200 day moving average. Our MACD is literally on the brink of crossing over and our RSI just exited the oversold zone. This is kind of like the stars aligning right now when it comes to technical analysis. And I am, I am holding back my urge to buy Mercado Libre in the pre-market. I'm gonna see how Monday, Tuesday go, and then I'm probably gonna buy back into Mercado Libre. I really like the company. This is kind of like the Amazon of South America, and they're growing extremely, extremely fast. And the last trade that I wanna share with you guys is definitely the most risky trade on this entire watch list, but I had to point it out to you because just recently, basically last week, this stock ran from 50 cents up to 80 cents. It is up more than 100% in the last basically month, and it is on, it is on an absolute tear. This is United Lithium. It's trading at 40 cents. It's currently trading at 88 cents. The Everything is going in the upwards direction. The volume is increasing, and the price is skyrocketing as of Thursday and Friday. So we'll see what happens on Monday, Tuesday, but this might be one to put on your radar. If you've got a little bit of change that you don't mind throwing around and sprinkling on something high risk, this is probably the one for you. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about how to analyze these charts and compare the companies, definitely consider signing up for my Stock Market Fundamentals course. It is completely free. It's hosted on Skillshare. You get two weeks of free access to the entire platform. So if you can do my course in under two weeks, cancel the subscription, you get the entire thing for free. There's over 10 hours of content. There's over 8,000 students that have gone through the course, 325 reviews, and I would love to share it with you. And if you get any value out of this video, Please remember to click that like and subscribe button. I sincerely appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one. Good luck trading, good luck investing, and we'll talk to you soon.